heel hop. For this move, what you want to do is you want both your feet together on your heels facing one direction. Then what you're going to do is you're going to jump to the other side so they face the other direction. Should be done just like this. Toe hop and toe stomp. This move is almost exactly like the heel hop except you'll be on your toes instead of your heels. To determine between a toe hop and a toe stall, it just depends how long you are on your toes before you execute your new move. The Crip Toe to start out this move, you want to stand up casually and then start hopping forward lightly touching your toes. When you land, you want to have your front foot on your heel and your back foot on your toe pointing in the same direction. Should be done just like this. Now we are going to add a little variation to it by doing a crypto and then doing another crypto from that. While you do your first crypto and end on your heel, then you want to start out with the other leg and go the other way. It should be done just like this. Here is what it will look like in action. X hop. To start out this move, what you want to do is you want to have one leg on your heel pointing one direction and your other leg on your heel pointing the other direction. What you're going to do now is hop. You're not going to slide. You're going to hop into this position just like a heel toe with your front foot on your heel and your back foot on your toe. Then you will hop back into the beginning position with both your feet on your heels in the opposite direction. Then you will want to hop the other way by switching your feet position and going the opposite direction. The most common transition from the X hop will be to a heel toe. Here it is in action. Horizontal V's. For this move, what it basically is, we will be doing the V in each direction with the feet going opposite of each other. Should be done just like this. advanced V step back. To start out for this move you want to make a V while pivoting on your heels. Then you are going to make a V inward with one of your feet and step back with the other one on your toe to make it look sort of like a heel toe.
once you have that formation mastered, you want to go into this position, then the same V you step inward, you want to step it out and move your back foot more to the side. To be done just like this. The V-Walk. This is an advanced move so you want to make sure you have your V-Step and your V's fully mastered. First I'm going to show you guys how it's done. You want to start out like this. To start out you want to point your left foot going left outward. Then you are going to bring your right foot over and while you do that you will pivot on your left foot heel and point it in the other direction. So then when your right foot comes over it will be pointing in the opposite direction. It should look like this. From this position you will want to do a V step to your right with both your feet at the exact same time. From this position, you'll want to do exactly the same as we did in the beginning, except you'll be lifting your left foot over to your right foot. Those are your motions and steps for the V-Walk. Now all you gotta do is practice. 